we're going to familiarize ourselves with the editing tool available in Canvas um, that allows me to edit any page in Canvas. So if you uh, take a look, um, I've created a couple pages now and I'm going to navigate to those pages under the Pages section. And as I scroll a little further down, you'll notice that um, I have this button called View All Pages. And I have uh, two pages um, that um, are currently available. One is called the Introduction Page, and the other one is called the Unit 1 Overview. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the Unit 1 Overview. And I'm going to go ahead and select the Edit button. You'll notice that when I select the edit button, um, I will see uh, the title of the page as well as the rich formatting uh, editing tool. So I can start typing in uh, the section and you can see I have basic tools like bold and italics and uh, you can change the text color. Um, I can uh, write, center, uh, write indent. I have superscript and subscript capabilities. Um, I have the ability to uh, add a table, just like I would in Microsoft Word. I have the ability to uh, link to a uh, URL or wiki page outside of uh, this website. So uh, it will allow me to link to that page. I can also highlight it, uh, some text and link to that. I have the ability to embed an image. So you'll notice that when I click on the embed image, I can either embed it from an existing uh, URL, a uh, file in my course files, so for example, um, my picture, or I can use, again, Flickr to find an image. And then I can go ahead and uh, select that image and click Update. And I can resize the image. I have the ability to insert math equations um, into uh, my Canvas page using basic Greek and operators uh, using the latex format. I have the ability to add Quizlets, Wikipedia pages. I have a number of different uh, uh, external tools such as YouTube, Vimeo, Khan Academy. I have the ability to upload and record media. So for example, if I have a video that I would like to record, I can use the record media feature uh, available here. Um, and we'll do this a little bit later in the course as well, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Or I can upload media, so I can select an audio or video file um, that's available. Um, and then I have the ability to change font sizes and paragraphs. Um, I can also make any page available for different members of the class to edit. So think of this like a Google Doc. Teachers and students can make changes to this page, uh, to this wiki page, or anyone who has access to this course. And then I can go ahead and click Save. And when I go back to the uh, Pages menu, you can see now that um, under View All Pages, I have two pages that I've created thus far uh, and the time in which I last edited those pages. Uh, one other thing that I can do, and I'm just going to show this very briefly, is you may recall in an earlier video on the introduction page, I had uh, added a new page into uh, my intro page. You'll notice when I click on this, uh, because this page has not existed yet, uh, it will automatically allow me to uh, start creating this page. And now when I go ahead and click Save and Publish, when I go back to the home page, you'll notice that when I scroll down and I click About Your Teacher, it will take me to a place called About Your Teacher. So that's the uh, very brief, uh, rich uh, editing content tool. Uh, later on in the course we'll take a look at um, how you can add videos and other features uh, into your page.